Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this video I will show you how to migrate your own premises database to Azure. Now as we discussed in a last video, there are three steps are required to migrate your database. The first step is pre-migration step where we need to decide the database. We need to perform the database assessment activity and identify the compatibility issue. If we, if we identify the compatibility issue, then again we have to go to the database and change the required DB object. After that, again we need to rerun this assessment activity. And if there is no issue, then we have to decide the tools. So there are many tools are there. And after we decide the tools, we need to perform the migration activity. So in this demo, I am going to use SQL Server Management Studio to migrate my own premises database to Azure. Before that, let's perform the database assessment activity, pre-migration steps. So for that, I am going to use database migration assistant tool. So open the database migration assistant tool. I will provide the link in a below section so you can download it after that you can click here new and here there is a two type assessment and migration so i go with the assessment give the name assessment type i go with the database engine source is my sql server and target is my azure sql database create after that Click next and select your source database. So I go with the local database. Go with the window authentication. Connect. After that, you have to select the database. So I am going to select AdventureWorks LT 2017 and click add. After that, you have to click start assessment. Now go to the compatibility issue. So this, this is a SQL Server feature related suggestion. If you go with the compatibility issue, so right now there is no compatibility issue in my database. So in this assessment activities, you will get feature recommendation as well as you will get compatibility issue. So in the adventure work database, I do not have any compatibility issue, but just I will give you some idea what kind of compatibility issue you are going to face the first is link server so in if you are in your database if you use a link server then you will get the compatibility issue if you used database email in your stored procedure then you will get the compatibility issue as well as if your database is built on a 2005 or 2008 or your application is very old and if you have used old type of joins where table name comma table 2 in the where clause you have the given the join condition then you can find this type of issue in the assessment so this is all about the assessment right now i do not have any compatibility issue so i can directly select my tool and i can migrate my database in azure so now step one and step two is done. Now let's decide the tool. Now in this demo, I am going to use SQL Server Management Studio to migrate my own premises database to Azure. So for that, let's create a server in Azure. So go to the portal.azure.com, select SQL Server and create new server. So I am going to create 
resource group database migration and I'm going to give the name DB migration okay I go with the East US give the SQL Server credential review and create so deployment is complete go to resource now my server name is DB migration and inside this server right now there is no database so let me first add my client IP now go to SQL Server Management Studio and select the database which you want to migrate in Azure so I am going to select adventure work LT 2017 right click go to task and here deploy database to Microsoft Azure SQL database select click next specify the target connection so my target connection is Azure so copy the server name here again give the username and password select the service tier so I go with the basic service tier and you need to define the location where backpack file will store so this is a default location so I go with the default location click next okay so let me give the name adventure work LT 2017 using SSMS click next here you can see your source server is this and your target server is this okay now this migration require downtime so when you perform this activity you have to make sure that your application is down and click finish now the operation is completed let's quickly validate the data so I'm going to select the SQL databases and you can see here now adventure work LT 2017 underscore SSMS database got created let's quickly validate so select the server name close and connect the database yes so now you can see all the tables are migrated let's quickly check click new query so now you can see here both have 12 tables in azure we have 12 tables as well as in the on-premises we have table 12 tables so all the tables are successfully migrate on on premises database to Azure now let's quickly check the procedures yes we have only two procedures here let's run yes let's quickly check the views Now this is default view to check the firewall rules. 
Now I hope you will get some idea about how to migrate your own premises database to Azure. So in the next video, we are going to use DMA to migrate our own premises database to Azure. So see you in the next video.